Now you'll notice the bird down here, Judas saw that bird and he's very aware of it. Now I didn't have to say a word to him. He sees the bird and instead of making a beeline for the bird, you know, he's a bird dog, but instead of making the beeline for it, he sees it and then he comes around this side and he was running along the edge of the water and instead he comes along and he goes over here. He didn't tear in and say, hey look, there's a bird, I'm off leash, I can't control my instincts, you know, I'm just a dog, you can never really trust what I might do at any given time, almost as if he himself can't trust himself. And so he goes around, he's understanding what my general rules are, just like my kids. I, I go into a store, I have certain expectations of them. I go to someone's house, they, they know there's things that I expect from them. And just like my kids would, would respond to those things that I've laid out and we've discussed, so does my dog. It's a beautiful, wonderful example of how a dog trained to be off-leash, because as I've always said, there's a difference between a dog off-leash and a dog trained to be off the leash. So Judah is a dog that's trained to be off the leash, and he's a perfect example of a dog that has come from a pound. He was aggressive, he was out of control, he was self-focused. He was given away because no one could handle him. But by adding some structure into his life, he has learned how to get enjoyment out of his life because he follows the rules. And every time I see him do things like that, it just really warms my heart because I see the work that I've put into him, in a sense, the benefit that I have given him is my correction of him and showing him that I'm not just going to reward your positive behavior, you know, and, and ignore all the bad and stupid and ignorant things you do. I'm going to correct you for the wrong things you do and reward you for the positive things with praise and affection and freedom, ultimately. So he doesn't want to lose that. You know, he enjoys what he's having in his life right now, what things he's experiencing. And it's like, so I can just, he's off over there. It doesn't matter that he's, you know, a hundred yards from me. I know that if he gets involved in a situation, he's going to use his brain and the things he's learned to monitor himself within that situation. So then I can relax and have my day at the park and not be panicked every moment because my dog's off leash. What's he doing? Where's he gone? Oh, someone's coming by. Oh, is he, you know, barking at someone? It's just a pleasant, pleasant experience. <laughs>